Good morning. I'm Corinne. And I'm LaShondra, and together we're KNL Everyday CNA. Saturday is going to be Halloween, or is it? <laughs> we may not see the witches or even all the superheroes walking down our streets and knocking on our doors. Residents may not be also able to pass out candy. During this pandemic, the traditional ways of celebrating is going to be a different this year. Oh, yes, yes. Well, Thank the CDC, you. the Center for Control, issued new guidelines. They issued high, moderate, and low. Wow. So that means, like in the high-risk category, you can't do trick-or-treat, trunk-or-treats. You can't do hay rides unless it's in your community, you know, the festivals this year. So, you know. That breaks down a lot of... A lot of things like you really cannot go out and enjoy um, Halloween at no. all. And I know they put out some new um, mask guidelines, and one is wear one at all time. LaShondra and I does not have ours on right now, but of <laughs> course we are six feet um, apart from each other. And please do not use the costume mask as a safety mask. Do not use that at all. And do not wear a costume mask over your cloth one as well. Wait your turn going up to the door because, you know, you're going to have a bunch of kids running up there to that door trying to be the first one in, in line. But pace them. Um, let them just take turns. Even if you have multiple children that you're going to be walking around with, just send one up at a time to make sure that everything is, is safe for them yes. as well. Uh, maintain the distance of six fit six feet part or more and avoid using your public restrooms and a lot of your fast food places will yes. be passing out candy so try to avoid those areas um, as well okay and the next topic is daylight saving It's Sunday November the 1st when you go to bed Saturday night turn your clock back one hour Ooh, that's pretty good. So if you do go out trick-or-treating, you have an extra yeah, hour yeah, to, yes. to except, get all those sweets. <laughs> except the people that work the next and, day <laughs> on um, that night. CNAs working um, the night shift should check their employee handbook um, about daylight saving time. Uh, starts at 2 a.m., giving you an extra hour of pay. So yes. please make sure that you refer to your handbook. Um, if you do not have a handbook available, just check with one of your supervisors or your DON. I'm sure they'll be happy oh, yes. to give you that information as well. And this Halloween, stay safe. Try to make it for residents by dressing up. Yeah, just make it a fun atmosphere for them. And um, come back and uh, join us uh, next week right here on Everyday CNN.